no, don't die. Don't die. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Okay. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Oh, God. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? <laughs> I'm gonna pick advice. to tell Maurice to hide in the secret archive. The killer will hear me. Go check it out. And we've got it. Oh, I like that. Make the killer think he has the upper hand, and then BAM! I appreciate the vote of confidence. Oh, Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am... Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet. But, uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. Oh, frick. There's the secret archive itself, but that's where the kill is going. Obviously. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. What did he say about the cabinet? He couldn't fit in it? Can't hide in the desk because he'll see it. But if we're, he's being locked in the secret archives, does it matter? Or the cubicles are right in the freaking open. If this doesn't work out. Try your cabinet. I don't... I don't remember what he said about the cabinet now. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Frick. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I can see it. He's not going to reach his office, is he? I should try to cure this. Don't say anything. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. It's going to be all right. He won't look for you there. I promise. And Mr. Russell, be quiet. It's important you make no sound. Quick, Mr. Russell, hide in the back room in your office. Wait, what? I think I just what? What? Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up the Whistling Man. Oh, okay. Forrest, you beautiful bastard! Oh. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked! I'm being honest, I can't believe it either. Oh, oh God, God, it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Oh. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the gallows reporter. I'll no. think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. Ooh, frick, man. Here we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer oh. tunes. I kinda hate that. Alright. I'm... Um, hold on. Hold on. I am so bad at this, I don't even know why. Set it down so I can pick up another one. 
Dead air is a crime, Forrest. I, I, I'm, I'm sure it is, but I'm bad at this. Hold on. Give me another one. Well, we just played that. Hold on. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Give me Come one. on, Forrest. Put some music on already. I'm working on it. Why can I not? There we go. There are so many buttons, though. I wish. Where is this? Okay. This one it is. Let okay. Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the Glam Jam. Hmm. Okay, no Looks one's like died yet. Should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're gonna <laughs> interview me. Are you sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Uh, oh, you know, I regret this. Maybe I might be in mystery. All right, well, shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. Why? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. No, that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. No. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Oh, it's okay. No, it's okay, Peggy. That last That's how one it goes. Though. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. <laughs> what a coincidence. Ooh. You didn't say how your parents uh -huh. died, so I wouldn't yeah. ask. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. Or she just killed it. That was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm oh, Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that. Sorry. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but haven't seen her since before my dad. Oh. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? No. You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's K fam regulations. You can't, I'll pass but you I can. The stairs. <sighs> Understood. I'm on it now. So, okay. The buzzer's oh. on the front door. See you in a bit. There is a killer on the loose and you want me to go. Okay. Thanks for key. Yeah, the first floor, then the second door. Second floor, stay away. Can I run? Negative. Oh my god. Alright. Is this unlocked? Better not be. Okay, it's good. It's locked. Hey, oh. tape play on air. That's sketch. Hello. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look around since I'm down here. Ski man. Oh God! Hold on. I'm gonna look around. 
that another tape? Nope, that's a ticket. Oh, cat pictures! I'm a cat mom. Oh god, this is a woman's desk, definitely. Um, two phones. Can't read. Put it back. I am definitely not snooping. Staff. Need the key. Don't want to be in there, but I'm gonna have to. I'm sure at one point. Oh well, close that back. Or not. I'm trying to close it. I hate that doors can swing both ways in this game. There's like, there we go. Coffee, milk, I'm guessing. Oh, stuff in here. Something tells me to look. I don't know, something. Good, good job on the new job. I hate that. This poor person. Her, their desk is all rock on gallows for life. You must be the one who reads. What is this? Friendship. The frick was that? What's up with this? What the frick, jump scare? Oh, I'm gonna need this, aren't I? At some point, I'll put it back. Don't lose it. Oh, it's this thing. Oh boy. Or was it this? Something fell! Okay, I guess I'll go back now, thank you. Please tell me this door is locked. Alright. Alrighty, we're not on air. Alright. Oh, I guess I did leave the music playing. I should not have left that door open. Shadow is going back to close it. <laughs> Even though, you know, if it was me, I'd lock that back. You know, probably be the safe thing. Why can I go to her office? Oh. Yeah, that's fair. That mount. Why would you put a mouse trap? What is this for? Can I open it? I can't. I don't know what it's for. Okay. Alright. I should lock my own door to be fair. Things do not want to shut in this game. It's seriously not. Fine, I'll leave it open! Okay, well, I found a tape. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. Hopefully not. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. Alright, well... Turn the music off and play it. Do you really want to? Do I have to take the last one out? Probably. Yep. Oh, hold on. Uh, can I set you down first? Master Robbie, uh, I'll put you there. Still getting there. We're getting better. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'll... I'm going to enjoy this. Oof. I did not enjoy that. Are you sure what the hell was that? I. Oh. Forest, we're still on air. Say something. Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't Maybe know I how or why that came through our door with 
the killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. Oh, you know, call us because we're a radio station. Oh, hey, it's probably time for music. No, nope, never mind. Oh, frick, alrighty. Hey, we had a call come in. Oh, of course. Don't be another one. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with f Ash! Shut up and listen to me! Oh, hi, Marie. Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! The whistling man is gone! You said he couldn't get out? God damn it, I thought you locked him up. What's going on? Damned if I know, Nash! Mr. Russell, where are you now? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went Why did home. you go back? Phone some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. Door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks, and well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Uh... That is very shameful, but... Oh, God. I want to go back. Maurice. I didn't think of you as a vigilante. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. Somebody let him the out, The door then. was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling you, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... I don't think it's a ghost. Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? Maloney. There's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Maloney. I said Maloney. Look. I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. Dodge. He seems really spooked. <laughs> Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? He's not a demon, Peggy. No. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? Somebody let him out. Somebody let him out. That's the only way. <laughs> Said it couldn't unlock from the inside, he couldn't get out. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect room. <laughs> Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. Oh, this I one's for end. all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Um, I don't like that one. I okay, what's this one? We'll go. There you go. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival oh, is, so is back! Hmm. We got it what all song out should I play? Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant. Oh, was I not dogs, supposed to play a freaking what? I thought we were playing advertisements. Go back to that. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. I think, I think. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. A cassette? You stopped the show for a tape? Just go get it. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Jesus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. There we go. Play. Wait, what is it? Say? Play me as a ASAP off air. Oh, okay. Well, I just put a freaking advertisement in because I thought that's what you meant by break. Guess I'm not closing the door. I pass the desk up. Alright. Hold on. I'm getting better at this. Um, open this. Pick this up. Put it down. Nope, I said put it down. Voicemail? My 
Your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had, and probably All right. never I've will again. All right, I've got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work now. Sorry, I need to saw it. See what it says. Uh, play me ASAP. Off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. <laughs> Why is purple the angry color? He has an angry color. Oh, Forrest. I'll give you the Reggie rundown later. Right okay. now, we need to play that tape. I was, but I saw you were going to be cut. Forrest Knight, you alright? Don't worry about Gina. You know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest! You know, Roddy you Snatcher? Ooh. I hold oh frick. We are old friends. Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I love Roddy. I will always find you was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. We and I can't it. believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to K Fan, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Oh boy. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go Oof. get Roddy's song before Gina no, sues the pants off them. us. Now we know why the same songs play on the freaking air all the time, guys. <laughs> Same song, back and forth. Oh man, I really don't want to go down here, but I guess I'm looking for a thing. I hope nobody's here. Door's still locked. I hope I didn't check the top one. So, your desk. I'm sure, funny I didn't see a freaking thing in here before. I don't see a wreck. Oh, there it is. This must be it. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. I'm trying to close the door. It just sucks. Oh my god. Close. Okay. There we go. If I didn't have to use the right stick for this, I swear, I would be better at it. There we go. Um, I got the tape. This. Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Where did it go, though? Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much-needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. I can't hear anything. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. We need Blink to Park. This is every time I've seen him live. Peggy, we just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, Ooh. shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. Oh, I really hope it's nothing serious. Oh, yeah. I hope they're not dead either. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream, 
And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy! <laughs> uh, Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Aw, oh, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Oh, no. Big man with a big knife, huh? Ruby, come oh. face me. A true warrior at the gallows waste disposal plant. Bruh. This one. Bruh. Oh, is that? Oh, God, bruh. Why? Don't do that. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's dojo series. Oh, no. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. <laughs> oh no. And there he goes. 24 Ladies and guys. gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy uh, as like, he seriously. tries to become our hometown hero. He's gonna get himself killed. Although, having heard that Master Robbie ad earlier, uh, <laughs> well, don't get your hopes up too much. Anyway, oh. we'll be right back after this commercial. Let's see what's on this one now. Okay, dang it. I forgot you guys put you away. Hey, I have all the tapes now, though. I guess. Time to play a commercial. I'm working on it. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Praying. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, apple bobbing, firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, seeds, bitten, sand licking, cracker cramming, and cat shop. And fake tattoo, face painting, puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, square dancing, story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle. Pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous Gord Measure Off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. What was that I can last see one? why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Yeah, he was oh, very excited. I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. We got a caller. You know what to do. How did you know we Hello, had... caller. You're live on the stream with Don't me, be Murphy. Forrest Nash. It's Murphy, isn't it? <sighs> it's not Murphy. Uh, Who's there? Who is this? Somebody hyperbole. Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Who is this? Hey, listen, Collar, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or? We sure yeah. did. You're in safe hands. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, Collar? I'm Dr. Sullivan. Uh, Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. Okay, another person. Let's I won't. go. Just calm down. Don't Tell me die, where said. you are right now. What's your address? I'm. I'm. Oh God. 
Uh, right. Um, hold on. Call a neighbor. Can he run away? Can you hide? Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house. Yes. Okay. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Pot uh -oh. covered in beer cans. They're Jesus. getting wasted. And I'm about to get. Oh God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout! If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Pizza? Don't worry, try to remember. Come on, Virginia. We're try not to calling remember. her a kid. I can't do this! Okay, she's gone. Well, folks, well, seems like our Virginia hung that's up. That's not good. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. I changed it already. I'm not stalling. It's funky, it's groovy, it's Stabbing the Twilight by Knife and Easy. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. You know they wanted pizza. Alright, we'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Takeout client privilege. Indian. What? They wouldn't tell There you. was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story, but what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. You know they order pizza, right? Well, let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. Everybody wants free pizza. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. Oh no. And oh, maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. I'm just two seconds away. God, where to start? Offices and what would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? Pizza! Is not even a question Brad, about it? Chad or Brad or uh critic. I just have to look around. God damn it. I guess I really wanted to be in here again. As long as it's in here. I don't think I've seen anything on, on food in here. I'm gonna assume. It's downstairs. Did I see anything on food in here? Yeah, I'm gonna say it's down. Wait. I can look up. Can't look at that. I can look at this. Oh, why do I- I don't need this. Go back. Yeah, what? I didn't do it. Nope. See the kids are downstairs. Food critic. You still locked? I did say there was a kitchen down here, right? I'm gonna come down here and there's gonna be somebody probably standing at this freaking door. Yeah, no. Is this where the kitchen is? Oh no.
I'm sure the kitchen's over here. Lock. For now. What do you need for now? That's a good thing. Private? Ew. Do not disturb. It's probably a good thing. Why is both of them messed up? I'm guessing they're bathrooms. I hope they're ba- I'm stuck. Lovely. I'm tracking that around there next stairs. Okay, that's good that that's locked. Janitor closet? That's wide open. Okay, that's fine. I'll just shut that door now. Yee! Nice break room. I've never been in a radio station, but this makes me want to be in a radio station. What is this? Nope. You know, put it back. Put it back. I don't need it. Just eat it. Out of order. Check back with me tomorrow. Midnight axe. Rest in pieces. Okay, I didn't see anything on food. I did see a note somewhere though. So this. Oh! Okay, I'm hoping it's in here. Oh, look, a pizza box. Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting. You did offer. say there was one free how beer. Well Gallo's high performed. It's Pawnee. It's a frat party. They're getting their beer and pizza. For every point that Gallo's high wins by in Tuesday's big game with every order. Go team. Whoops, wrong door. Sorry, I was reading. I wasn't paying attention. Sucks that you gotta walk by somebody's office to actually get to the break room. Ugh, god dang it. Privacy issue, especially. Wait, she doesn't have a computer though. Never mind. I was gonna say, you can see what's ever. What's going on on the computer, but nobody has a computer, apparently. Alright! Pawnees it is! I'm guessing I need this. I don't know why. But it's proving my point. Everybody wants pizza at a frat party. Okay, we're getting better at this. All right, Peg. Hey, yeah. find anything useful? Oh, yes, I yeah, have. I think I got it. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Nope. Let's make the call. I hope she's okay. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? Ah, <sighs> Ponty's. Why is it on the bottom? Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. It's like they want you to screw up there. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Ponty's Pizza! May I take your order? Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, Shoot, I should have asked your order. I need some garlic bread. Oh, I need the bread! Can do? Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza, you know. I should really call <laughs> No, you don't. Don't call that. And now we wait. They we really said they wanted pretzels. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery Fr workers. Why? Why when I was trying to do that? Just, oh, God dang it, I think I played this one already. Uh, You're gonna 
you love this next track. Oh, I'm just trying to find out. <laughs> oh, man. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Are they? Equally awful, equally good, if you had to pick. Sure, but <laughs> if you had to pick one. All right, all right. Not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Agreed. Right. So between I'm grilling spray really and chalupa coppers. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Yes. Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Maybe I... Hold that thought for us. We've got a call coming in. It's funny. It's funny. Oh, no way. It's kind of crap boys, actually. It's one of them. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 this is Fredman Bunker. Hi, Punk. We got some garlic bread, and I'd love to call this number. <laughs> yes. Who paid Bunker, for it? This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. Who's Goose? It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a goose prank. Uh, no, this oh, is Forrest Nash. Possible. Host up. Uh, uh, sure thing, Goose. Uh, uh, listen, I need you to... Goose, come get beer. Your brothers are waiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? Shoot, you're going to want a song, aren't you? <laughs> Let me get a second opinion on this. I just Norman the know. Barbarian! What do you think? Norman. <laughs> Great idea. Oh, I should put that Norman the Barbarian it. says, only the man Indeed. What do you want? So, play us. I just played it. Wait, Earlier. really? What? The flow? Norman uh, the Barbarian! Right there. Advances. Right there. Okay, okay. There it was. I'll play the damn song. No! Give it back. There you go. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, okay, radio man. You got my attention. What is it? Thank God. You Listen, need to go next door. You gotta get over to your neighbor's house. All of you. Just say no more. Bunker's moving the house. You know questions? Just gonna do it. Alright, cool. Line two. Uh, Hello, you're live on 189.16, the stream. Not Please. anymore. Oh my god, it's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. Who? <laughs> the party has arrived! Wait, what? Oh. Welcome, Virginia. And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes, some wear sheets as togas. And drink beer. Hey, Forrest, did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Oh man, oh man, it's like 1.20 in the morning, but I, yeah, I really want to keep playing, but there is like no break in this, so. We Hold that thought. We're gonna save. Not have a over. call waiting. You aren't saving. But, yeah, this has been fun so far. Nobody's died. Man, I've already played two hours of this game. It's crazy. Uh, but, yeah. 
No one's died yet, that's good news. We haven't got anything killed. Um, paper ball baskets made from the desk. Only oh, seven. Hey, seven's my lucky number. But, yeah, I'm having fun. Hopefully, everybody's enjoying this game as well. Like I said, I saw it. Thought it looked really retro. It's cool. This would be a really sucky situation in real life that you have to rely on freaking radio station to save you, not if the cops can't come when you're sitting behind a desk still preparing being a radio station and saving lives i guess it works but hey yeah uh i gotta go gotta get ready for bed so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next session it's fun having fun definitely fun bye